This video is brought to you by myvayteaching.com. Now let us study another important uh, type of thermometer that is uh, clinical thermometer. Okay. The normal temperature of human body is 37 degrees Celsius, isn't it? Whenever a person gets fever, his body temperature rises. Isn't it? So when we get a fever, then obviously the body temperature will increase. So the thermometer which is used for measuring the temperature of human body, that we call it as clinical thermometer. So this thermometer is specifically used for measuring the temperature of human body. Again, okay. a clinical thermometer is uh, used to measure a body temperature by a doctor and uh, you can see a clinical thermometer in this particular figure is a tape and this uh, clinical thermometer it consists of long glass tube having a thin and uniform bore it is a long thin glass tube is a tape long thin glass tube and there is a and you can see there is a glass bulb at one end of the glass tube and this uh, glass bulb see this is a glass bulb and it contains mercury and outside the glass bulb a small shining thread of mercury can be seen in the thermometer tube so this is the mercury thread which is used for measuring the temperature the other end of glass tube is sealed isn't it a temperature scale is marked on the glass tube of the clinical thermometer and the clinical thermometer has a temperature which is marked from 35 to 42 degree celsius okay see this clinical thermometer is specially designed to you know, measure the human body temperature and it has two special features which make it different from the laboratory thermometer. So the first special feature is that a clinical thermometer, it has a very short range of temperature that is from 35 to 42 degrees Celsius. Okay, it, uh, its uh, temperature range is uh, very uh, you know, short due to the fact that the temperature of human body, it normally does not go below 35 or above 42 this is the reason its temperature range is very short okay and the second feature is a clinical thermometer has a king or we can say a constriction in its glass tube just above the bulb containing mercury you can see that constriction here this is a kink or constriction which is there in the clinical thermometer and why what is the reason for this construction see this construction or the kink it is to prevent the backflow of mercury into the thermometer bulb when the thermometer bulb is removed from the mouth so usually we you know in order to read the readings we'll take the thermometer out of our mouth so that time there is all chance that this mercury can flow back to this th thermometer bulb so in order to avoid that, this constriction is made in this particular thermometer. And this thing prevents the mercury level in the thermometer tube from falling on its own. So even when that thermometer bulb is uh, removed from the mouth of a patient, the mercury thread will keep standing at the maximum level reached. And due to this, we can read the correct body temperature of the patient even after removing the thermometer bulb from the mouth. Okay, for that reason, this constriction is made. Okay, see so then uh, how to use this uh, clinical thermometer if you just uh, see you just wash the thermometer properly. And if antiseptic solution is uh, not available, then wash it with clean water and hold the thermometer tube firmly in your hand and give it a few jerks so that the mercury in the thermometer falls below the reading of 35 degrees Celsius and put that bulb of a thermometer under the tongue of the patient and 
Hold the thermometer tube gently. Keep the thermometer bulk in the mouth of the patient for about one minute. That's more than enough. Then take out and read the temperature. Hold the temperature horizontally in your hand and rotate it slowly. A position will come when you when you will see a magnified image of the mercury thread in its tube. Okay, then we can take down the temperature. So now let us see the, some of the precautions in using this uh, clinical thermometer. Okay, see the clinical thermometer should be washed before and after use, preferably with antiseptic solution. As I just told you now, you just wash it with an antiseptic solution. And before using this clinical thermometer, and we should ensure that the mercury level it must be below 35 degrees Celsius. And uh, you must read the clinical thermometer by keeping the level of mercury along the line of sight. And the clinical thermometer should never be held by the bulb while reading it. And you should handle this with K. And uh, a clinical thermometer, it has usually two temperature scales. As you can see in this uh, particular figure on its glass tube, okay, from uh, the sides of mercury thread. One is the Celsius scale and the one is the Fahrenheit scale. And the normal temperature of human body is 37 degrees Celsius. What we call normal temperature of human body is the average body temperature of a large number of healthy persons, okay. And one more important thing about or point about this is uh, this thermometer we cannot use it to measure high temperature because its range is very small and it has been designed to measure only human body temperature and it and that human body temperature it varies over a very short range of 35 to 42 degree Celsius. So because of this reason we cannot use it to measure high temperatures.